Hi, I'm a stickler-ish, and I upgraded from a pedestal mount table. This is a Helio O2 camper trailer, but you'll find this useful for any trailer. And stick around, I included a list of a few other Helio mods and a glimpse at a Subaru Outback tow vehicle. For comparison, I am 5'11 and weigh 150 pounds. It's still a tight squeeze around a pedestal mount table. They're always in the way, uncomfortable, and block floor space. Here's the same tabletop with the Lagoon USA table mount system. It's a game changer. It swings out of the way to give full access to seating and the floor. Adjusting the table height for comfort and ergonomics is super easy, and you can still swing it out of the way when it's been lowered. Table setup is simple. With the pedestal table, there's always a floor mount in your way to trip over or stub your toe, and you must find a place to stow the pedestal tube. The Lagoon support leg stows under the tabletop, so it's always convenient. Breakdown is just as simple. I added a second black handle to the support leg. I mounted my bracket high for a longer range of height adjustment. The second handle isn't necessary, but it helps keep it tight when at the lowest position. You don't need two handles, and certainly not if you mount your bracket lower than I did. For a Helio O2, use Lagoon's standard leg system and their standard bracket with bolt kit. I chose the right hand leg option. Lagoon's instructions are straightforward, but like everything, read the manual and follow the instructions carefully. The same applies for this video. This is not a simple bolted anywhere project. A solid vertical surface is an absolute requirement for the Lagoon table mount bracket. Helio O-Series interior panels are foam core plywood, so they definitely need to be strengthened. I included a couple cross-section pictures of the Helio's exterior wall and the floor, just for your information. This bracket mount location and attachment technique is the best solution for the Helio O2. It leverages the existing center panel and ties together the forward and rear panels for rigidity and strength, which is derived through the U-channels, not the wall panels. You can find aluminum angle and bar stock and number 10 by 5 8 inch hex washer head self-drilling screws at a local hardware store, and a right angle drill attachment is helpful. Mark and pre-drill the screw holes and the angles. Do not pre-drill the U-channels. Tie the rear wall to the center panel with two sections of 1 inch by 1 inch by 1 16th inch aluminum angle and self-drilling screws. Note that the center panel screws must be offset so they don't bind. The front wall needs more strength. Use two sections of 1.5 inch by 1.5 inch by 3 16 inch aluminum angle. Mark and pre-drill the screw holes in the angles. Do not pre-drill the U-channels. Mark and cut notches for the cables. Also, add two sections of 1 inch by 1 16 inch aluminum bar as shims to fill the gap between the angles and the wall panel caused by the top and bottom U-channels. Attach the shims to the angles with double-faced tape, then fasten the angles to the U-channels. Use the leg mount bracket to mark the holes making sure the bracket is level and perpendicular to the floor. Drill the holes through the panel, shim, and angles, and fasten the leg mount bracket. Remember, the wall panel has a foam core. Do not over-tighten. Fill the old screw holes in the floor with gray-colored epoxy. This isn't part of a Lagoon mount installation, but my Helio had a lot of slop between the tabletop and the plastic support beams. A small amount is necessary, but over a quarter inch seemed excessive. I reduced the gap and strengthened the support beams by adding 3 quarter inch by 1 8 inch aluminum bar stock as shims between the plastic beams and the side wall panels. Each side requires two shims, one along the top between the plastic beam and the U-channel and the other along the bottom between the plastic beam and the wall panel. The left side wall panel is in two sections joined by vertical U-channels so the bottom shim for the left side beam must be cut into two pieces to allow for the vertical U-channels. Do not reuse the original screws. I replaced them with a number 8 by 2 inch pocket hole screws. I also installed an additional screw to the left side to strengthen where the two wall panels come together. Here's a list of a few other modifications I've made to this Helio. Some are straightforward and easy enough for the casual do-it-yourselfer. However, some are quite complicated and require in-depth understanding of a broad range of technical topics and specialized tools. Helio O-Series camper trailers are lightweight but strong. They're capable as is and have much potential, but you must respect your gross vehicle weight rating. All the mods I've done so far are effectively weight neutral. I've eliminated some things without replacement and replaced some heavy items with lighter items. 
there are still several things I'd like to change and improve. More to follow, but for now, look closely, you'll see the cameras, propane hood pins, suspension lift, stabilizers, and door lock. Here's a peek at the upgraded and rewired electrical system, but note the propane copper tube for the water heater. Two 50 amp hour batteries are safely and securely tucked under this cabinet. This mod helped make the water pump a lot quieter. For the Subaru, I installed the hitch, 7 pin plug, plug mount, and hardwired a brake controller. This is my first video. I plan to do more. Please leave me a comment if you have any questions about this video or are interested in a specific topic for the next video. Remember, read the manual.